What's up guys and welcome to today's video. If you've been here before, shout out to you. Thank you for tuning in to yet another video. And if you're new here, welcome. Join the family, get down there, hit subscribe. And while you're down there, hit the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. So today we're gonna be installing some roof rack crossbars, I guess they're called, on the Jeep right here. I got a little overexcited and I ended up opening them up before I started recording, but check these things out. They are super nice. They have like a nice gloss finish and they got the rubber little pieces up here. I guess it's for grip and to hide where the bolts go for the mounting points right here. They also have these little key holes. They bring keys for them and they also bring the Allen key or Allen wrench that you're gonna need in order to install and that's literally all you need. So I got these off of Amazon, I believe I paid like 100 bucks for them. I'll put the link to these in the description below. They bring some directions, we don't need these and you don't either because you're watching this video. Some of you guys wanted to see if I actually collected any oil in the catch can that I installed not too long ago. And if you haven't watched that video, I'll put a link to it up here. I haven't driven the car a whole lot, but last weekend we actually took the Jeep down to Myrtle Beach, which is about a seven hour drive one way from here. So it's what, 14 hour drive round trip. We've put about like 2,500 miles. So I think we have some oil. I haven't checked. We're about to find out right now. So basically I'm just gonna unscrew it. Wow, that was hot. Holy crap, I did not expect that thing to be hot. Okay, so I guess obviously, right? Being metal and being around this, which way do I have to go? There we go. All right, let me adjust this real quick. I'm hoping there's some oil in there. Oh yeah, look at that. There is a good amount of oil in there and it is super dark. I don't know if you guys can catch that, but that oil is super dark. So we know the catch can is indeed doing its job. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw this back on. I know there's some people that take the oil from their catch can and then just throw it right back in to the oil fill tube and back into their motor. I don't wanna do that because seeing how black that oil is, I don't think it's a good idea. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. I wanna make sure that the oil catch can is doing its job and catching oil and now we know it is. So. For all those people that ask me like, is it even worth it on a V6? Now you know it is worth it. That oil that's in that catch can was gonna get reintroduced into your intake system. It's gonna cake up your valves and all that. So I am super glad that we did that. But enough of that, that's not what this video is about. Let's get installing the roof rack crossbars. So they say that these roof racks only work with Jeeps that have these on the top of the Jeeps. So I know on SRTs and Trackhawks, it's not gonna work because they have a different setup. I've seen people say that they work on Limiteds and Overlands. This is a Summit, so I know it works on this one too. So just hop on your car and if it has these tracks on top, then you know you're good to go. So the installation on these is super simple. Basically, you want to peel back this rubber strip up top. And then you take your provided tool and you want to loosen them up. I loosen both of them up like this. So you want to loosen this one up just slightly like that. And then this one up here closer to the edge, there's a bolt down here. So what I do is I spin this until I can get the bolt flush right there. And I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So basically I loosen it all the way until it's flush with this right here. A lot of people take this whole piece off completely. I don't like doing that because it just adds more work. You literally just have to take it off or loosen it until it's flush right here and then you're good to go. So I do that there and then I do it on this side as well. So now we have both sides loose, as you can see right here. They have a little bit of wiggle room right there. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna put it 
on top of the Jeep. There's only one way that these can go and basically to find out how they go is there's a big, long, smooth surface right here. This goes towards the back. There's a short one here with a groove here. This goes to the front and that's how you can tell if you're putting it on right. So again, short goes to the front, long and smooth goes to the back. So if you are a perfectionist like me, you're gonna measure everything, make sure everything is nice and symmetrical. So we have about one and seven eighths inch right here of overhang and then one and seven eighths inch from this edge right here to this edge right here and that's on both sides so i know that it's the same right now so i'm gonna go ahead and start tightening it so i'm gonna peel this back again and then i'm gonna start with this one and basically i'm just gonna go until it's snug and then i'll go to the other side and tighten the other side then i'll come back to this side and tighten this side just to make sure everything is flowing smoothly and as it should. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna raise the metal mounting piece on the mounting bracket up into the tracks of the rails right here and it's gonna basically hold everything in place. So again, I'm just gonna make sure it's snug like that. Same thing with the other one make sure it's snug and on to the next side I'm gonna turn it sideways here to get more leverage to make sure it is nice and tight and I'm not going crazy tight on it either. All right, so that right there is tight. And then this one is also tight. So now that I know this one's tight, I'm gonna go ahead and put this rubber piece back in here like so. And I'm going to do it all the way until the end, but I'm going to need two hands for this. So I'm going to put you guys down real quick. Now we tighten this side shouldn't need too much because we already got it snug. And then we put this back on. So I found that it's easier to just get one side in first and then basically just push the other side in like that, kind of like wedge it in there and it all falls into place. So I don't know what just happened. My camera just died and it does have battery left. Like I'm on the same battery. I don't know what just happened, but basically it's on as you can see. Same thing as the other side and you guys did see that side. So I'm just peeling off the blue little sticker that it has here where the key goes but I can't even do that got it so you guys just saw me do the front so now I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys up on the tripod and we're gonna do a time lapse it's currently 211 let's call it 212 by the time I start so I'm gonna set you guys down and we'll see how quick I can get this done All right guys, so basically all I did was I set it up here. It's not on or anything on either side. 
I'm just interrupting this because while I was doing this, a huge branch from up on those trees right there just fell. And it was freaking crazy. Like I saw it all. Check this out. Look at this giant branch that just fell right now. Like I literally saw it fall from up in those trees. Bam, right here. That is freaking wild. That's what you have to live with when you live in the middle of the woods. So let's go ahead and restart this whole process. I just wanted to show you guys because that was freaking crazy. So 213, again, let's call it 214 by the time I finish setting you guys up and let's see how quick I can get it done. Two twenty-four, so 10 minutes. The back is actually so much harder than the front because you don't have anywhere to stand because the crossbar goes here and you don't have anything here. You can only stand here. So it's kind of far. You're kind of like hanging while you're working. It sucks. So if you're gonna do this, I suggest get a stool because my ankle's hurting from like being all uncomfortable basically the camera did die again i don't know what's wrong with it it doesn't like recording for too long without movement i guess i don't know but basically they're all on there Let's take a look As you guys can see, these crossbars look so freaking good and they are super stout. Like I can move the whole car just grabbing onto these. They have a 150 pound limit, I believe. I basically got these because we like to ride our crazy carts and they don't fit in the trunk. We can only get one to fit. So we can only take one out at a time, which is kind of boring. So that's why I got these things. I love how the Jeep has those rails so I can move them closer together if I wanted to. Right now, I literally left two inches right here and two inches right here just so that everything looks nice because obviously right now it's all about the looks for the video but once I start actually using them, I will be moving them around. So it's cool that they bring the keys and they bring the Allen key that you need to move them around so obviously put that in your glove box but yeah the hard the hard part was the back basically the front was super easy I wish I would have done a timed time lapse on the front because I thought I was gonna give you guys an impressive time with the back not 10 minutes I thought I was gonna be like look got it done in four minutes or something but that was not the case but if you guys get a set of these again they're gonna be in the description below but if you guys get a set and you guys want to time yourselves if you time yourself please put your time down in the comments i want to see how fast you get yours done because like i said super easy install and you don't really need any tools they send you the one tool you need so it's freaking awesome but that's going to do it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm going to go inside and start editing this video right now so i'm going to get off your screen now so make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and while you're down there hit the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos but that's going to do it for this one so as always keep moving forward and stay on the gas